hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here let's take the right hand side to the left hand side we have x raised to power 6 minus into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here then we write this as x raised to power 3 raised to power 2 this is the same thing as 2 times 3, which is 6. Then minus into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 3. Also raised to power 2 here equals to 0 from here. Then when we have a square minus b square, this is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. And from what we have here, a is same thing as x raised to power 3, and b is same thing as x minus 1 raised to power 3. Then what we have now can be written as x raised to power 3 plus into bracket x minus 1 close bracket raised to power 3. Then into brackets then open other brackets we have x raised to power 3 minus into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 3 close brackets equals to 0 from here and from what we have we have two possible cases which are x raised to power 3 plus into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x raised to power 3 minus into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here then let's solve the first case here from case 1 from here that is when we have x raised to power 3 plus into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 3 equals to 0. This follows from sum of two cube when we have a cube plus b cube which is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is what we have then can be written as x plus x minus 1 into bracket and open bracket x square minus x times x minus 1 then plus x minus 1 squared close bracket which is equals to 0 from here then when we simplify x plus x here we have 2x minus 1 here then into bracket here we have x square then minus x open the bracket we have minus x square then plus x then plus expansion here becomes x square minus 2x plus 1 close bracket then equals to 0 from here then when we simplify further we have 2x minus 1 then into brackets here yeah, x square minus x square cancel out and when we rearrange this from here we have x square then x minus 2x we have minus x plus 1 close bracket equals to 0 from here then from what we have here is either we have 2x minus 1 equals to 0 or we have x square minus x plus 1 equals to 0 from here then here we have 2x equals to 1 which implies when we divide both sides by 2 here here this cancel out and we have x equals to 1 over 2 from here. 
and uh, on this side when we solve further we have a quadratic equation where a equals to one b equals to minus one and c equals to one from the formula now x will be equals to minus minus one plus or minus square root of minus one squared minus four times one times one then over two times one and uh, which give us x equals to minus times minus plus so we have one plus or minus square root of minus one square one then minus here we have four over two from here which implies we have x equals to 1 plus or minus root minus 3 over 2. And root minus 3 is same thing as root 3 high. So we have x now equals to 1 plus or minus root 3 high over 2. So here we have two complex solutions from here. Then from case 2 here. This follows difference of two cube when we have a cube minus b cube, which is same thing as a minus b into bracket and open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And then what we have then can be written as x minus into bracket x minus one now. Then Close bracket, then open bracket x square plus x times x minus 1, then plus x minus 1 squared, close bracket, equals to 0 from here. And when we simplify here, minus open bracket, we have x minus x plus 1 here. Then also here, we have x square x open bracket we have plus x square minus x then expansion here we have plus x square minus 2x plus 1 close bracket equals to 0 from here that is here x minus x cancel out so we have 1 multiplied by here we have x square plus x square plus x square that's 3 x square then minus x minus 2x that's minus 3 x then plus 1 close bracket equals to 0 from here and this is same thing as 3 x square minus 3 x plus 1 equals to 0 from here and this is a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 3, then c equals to 1. So from the formula, when we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a, then this becomes x equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 then over 2 times 1 and here this becomes x equals to minus times minus plus that's 3 plus or minus square root of here we have minus 3 squared, that's 9, then minus 4 here, over 2 from here. Then when we simplify further, we have x equals to 3 plus or minus root 5 over 2 here. That is, we have two solutions from here which are also real solution now from here all together we have five solutions to this problem the first one we have x equals to half and then 
Also, we have two other resolutions from here, which are 3 plus root 5 over 2 and 3 minus root 5 over 2. And also, here we have two other complex solutions, which are 1 plus root 3 high over 2 and 1 minus root 3 high over 2. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.